is 516 on your Friday. If you plan to view the eclipse here in Tampa, gonna need a pair of these bad boys, some solar eclipse glasses. I've never worn them before. You actually can't see through them see in the oh. light. <laughs> They're so dark. Well, too bad Amanda we gotta read. is here to explain what can happen if you don't use them. Unless you're in the path of totality for this solar eclipse, you have to have a pair of these glasses. Otherwise, you can damage your eyes. To prevent damage from happening, first, make sure your glasses are ISO certified. You can check on the inside of the glasses for that verification. So I've put together a very simple experiment to demonstrate what happens when you look directly at the sun. This magnifying glass is going to act like the lens in our eye. The leaf acts like the retina that the light focuses onto at the back of our eye. As you can see, it doesn't take long for the leaf to burn. That is what could happen to your retina. To be clear, it is not any more harmful to look at the sun during a solar eclipse compared to a normal day. The sun's rays will cause this damage to your eyes every day of the year. It just so happens that more people are interested in seeing the eclipse, so more people will be looking up directly at the sun. One question that I get asked pretty frequently is do our pets need eclipse glasses? The simple answer is no, because they're not any more inclined to look up at the sun come Monday. But if you don't have your eclipse glasses yet, come to our Outdoors Expo and Boat Show. We've got plenty of these to give away. It runs Friday through Sunday. Reporting from the path of the partial eclipse here in Tampa. Amanda Holly, 8 on your side.